this is Sarah Haley with Fab UK. We're here at the Venice Film Festival reporting to you the latest right here at the red carpet. Behind me here is where all the stars premiere their movies. So stay tuned on FabUK.tv. è Temu Nikki per il film The Blind Man Who Did Not Want to See Titanic. Good evening. Prego. Premio. Eh. <ride> Roberta consegna il premio, Roberta Armani. There is something. 
Uh, I want to thank everybody who was making this film, and especially I want to th thank great actor Petri Poikolainen, who is blind and in a wheelchair, and now listening this back in Finland. Petri, I'm bringing this to you. And I also want to thank uh, the audience, because this is the audience prize, audience knows the best. And thank you for the festival. It has been such a good time for us, everybody here. And uh, the film opens in Italy next week. Thank you for, I wonder. <laughs> there I go. Grazie. Grazie, Roberto Armani. Grazie mille. E andiamo avanti con Venice VR Expanded, la sezione virtual reality della mostra. Io invito sul palco la presidente di giuria Michelle Cranò e la giurata Maria Grazia Mattei. Prego. Salutiamo anche Jonathan Yeo, che questa sera non è qui con noi, ma ha lavorato con la giuria in questi giorni. Benvenute! Le opere in virtual reality di questa edizione della mostra sono in tutto 36, di cui 23 in competizione da 16 paesi diversi e interamente fruibili online. Il primo premio va alla migliore storia raccontata grazie alla realtà virtuale, Best VR Story. Chi è il vincitore? We are delighted to award the Best VR Story to End of Night by David Adler. Consegna il premio Maria Grazia Mattei. Congratulations. Oof, heavy. Well, I'd like to start to thank uh, Venice Film Festival for believing in VR as a good medium to tell stories. It's been a hard and long trip to get this realized. So I'd like to start thanking the producers at Marco Pol, uh, Miguel Skov and Mass Damsvo for believing in the project from the beginning. I'd like to thank the scriptwriter Hans Fly Jakobsen, the production design Gustav Pontovedan, technical directors Bastian Leonhard Strobe and Belta Busch, and of course the actors that gave it all. Uh, Jens Jørgen Spurtak, Nicholas Herskin, and Lea Gregersen. I'd like to thank my wife and family for sticking with me for so long. And of course, I'd like to thank the jury for seeing the project for what it is. Thank you very much. Il secondo premio va invece all'opera che ci ha fatto vivere un'esperienza davvero indimenticabile, sfruttando al meglio le potenzialità della realtà virtuale. Chi è il vincitore di Best VR Experience? The Best VR Experience goes to Le Bal de Paris by Blanca Lee. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Can you hold it? Yes, I need to, to read something. Sorry, I'm going to read a little paper. Good night, everybody. I feel so honored and very happy to be here tonight. I want to thank the jury for this award and the Venice International Film Festival for being a major supporter of this new artistic genre through its VR expanded section. Immersive virtual reality has opened new possibilities for audiovisual creation and performing arts. When I started, my project was only a dream, but three years later, my dream came true. Naturally, I want to thank Etienne Lee, my all-time producer, for always making it possible and being on my side.
I want to thank my talent team and my dancers for trusting and following me. Of course, Le Val de Paris would never have seen the light without the involvement from my partners and co-producers in this adventure, especially thanks to Backlight Studio in Paris for their brilliant technical skill and innovation, and thanks to Chanel for their generous contribution and marvelous creation of costumes for this experience. <laughs> I wish to thank our co-producers, Fabric Dimash from Luxembourg, Actio Studio from Berlin, and of course, the institutions and companies who have contributed to our financing needs. The Cream, Sensen, Film Fund from Luxembourg, Median Board, Berlin, Brandenburg, Ville de Paris, Europa Creative Media Program, Epic Mega Grant, and HTC Vive. Thank you to Conservatory Benedetto Marcello Benit, Zueca Project, to Theatre National de Chaillot in Paris, Teatros del Canal in Madrid, that was my home the last two years, and of course, I want to say a very special thanks to Liz Rosenthal and Michelle Rayak for their passion in making this section alive and fun and a major VR, virtual reality festival in the world. Thank you. I love you. I'm so happy. Good energy. E siamo arrivati al premio Migliore Opera VR di Venezia 78, Grand Jury Prize for Best VR Work. Chi è il vincitore? We are proud and honored to award the Grand Jury Prize for Best VR to Goliath, Playing with Reality by Barry Jean Murphy and May Abdallah. Consegna il premio Maria Grazia Mattei. Um, thank you. This is absolutely incredible. It's such an honor. This is a very personal and deeply important project for us and so many people in our team. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, we'd like to thank the Biennale for believing in this, the power of this emergent medium, which has great potential to tell complex emotional stories like beyond the limits of language. And I'd like to dedicate this award to John, who is Goliath, a friend of mine, who had the bravery to tell his story despite the prejudice and fear that is, that is attached to people that are diagnosed with schizophrenia. <laughs> um, we really wanted to tell the story of somebody in this community that is often ignored and really celebrate um, the new worlds that are part of this uh, online and exciting universe that is outside of the realm of the physical. And many of us will have begun to explore that world over the past year in these strange kind of non-physical times. And what this award really means is that, you know, this story, Goliath's story, will be seen by a much wider audience and we hope compassion and a new respect for these um, courageous individuals who have this diagnosis and the way that they navigate through the world. So quickly, you know, there are many people to thank, but we wanted to give a special mention to the Venice Biennale College, where two years ago we came with this idea just written on a piece of paper, and it's, you know, it's, it's been such a long journey. So thanks to them and Michelle and Jane, and also to Amy from Oculus, who, um, has been an amazing kind of uh, funder and also has given us a lot of creative freedom to really explore the possibilities of storytelling. And to our producer, Anita, who is so tenacious and so dedicated. And um, yes, also to Tilda, Tilda for helping us. The project. There's still so many people. <laughs> but yeah, thank you very much.
Grazie. E grazie a Michel Cranot e alla giuria Venice Virtual Reality. Grazie. Ed ora passiamo al film che la giuria opera prima, ha individuato tra gli esordi che abbiamo visto in questi giorni. Per la consegna del Leone del Futuro Premio Venezia Opera Prima Luigi De Laurentiis, invito sul palco il presidente della giuria, Uberto Pasolini, e i giurati Amalia Ullman e Martin Schweighofer. Buonasera, benvenuti. E ora invito anche Caterina De Angelis, a cui Aurelio De Laurentiis ha gentilmente chiesto di consegnare al vincitore due assegni del valore di 50.000 dollari l'uno per regista e produttore dell'opera prima vincitrice. Caterina, prego. A lei la parola. Buonasera, appunto il, il premio è stato istituito da Aurelio De Laurentiis assieme alla Biennale in onore di suo padre Luigi De Laurentiis. Il, il premio oltre al Leone del Futuro consiste in 100.000 dollari divisi tra il regista ed il produttore vincitori. Questo premio è molto importante perché come tutti noi sappiamo per chi esordisce nel mondo del cinema non è sempre facile trovare dei fondi adeguati. Grazie. Bellissima cosa. Presidente Pasolini, è il momento di annunciarlo. Il Chi è il vincitore del premio Leone del Futuro? <ride> il premio va a Immaculat di Monica Stan e George Kipper Lillemark. Ecco qui. Congratulazioni. Prego. We love it because it's red. So. And very heavy. Um, so, first of all, I would like to thank Giornate degli Autori for welcoming us into the festival, for believing in the film, and being such a warm home for Immaculate. I want to thank Gaia Führer and Renata Santoro and the whole Giornate degli Autori team for welcoming us. Also, I would like to thank um, Biennale College, where this project started many years ago. Um, it was at, at the very beginning, and now, many years later, it's returning back to Venice, so the film seems to have some connection with this festival and this place. I want to thank the jury also for being so open to our film, and, I don't know, being so uh, rewarding to us and the work of our team. Um, and then there are so many people to thank. Uh, we would like to thank our producer, Marcian Lazar, who is not here today but told us not to trip over the stairs, so we will not. <laughs> uh, and to Julia Lazar, the executive producer, and to our cast, Anna Dumitrașcu, Vasile Pavel di Gudai, and Cesar Grumazescu, the main actors who did an amazing job, but also all the other actors and our casting director and our set designer, costume designer, and everyone, everyone absolutely from the team who, without whom this film wouldn't have been made. It's a collective effort. Oh, this award is getting heavy, <laughs> uh, so I should keep it short. <laughs> but uh, a apart from everyone who is on the credits, I would also like to thank all the people who appeared in my life and taught me something about relationships, like friends and ex-boyfriends and 
oh, oh, all, everyone who. Uh, and because somehow they all made it into the film, a small part of them at least. Um, and last but not least, I want to thank George for being on this journey with me and without whom it would not have been possible. And now it's your turn to hold the prize. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Monica. It's, uh, well, it's quite heavy. Uh, yeah, I think I should start by thanking again to Giornati della Autori and to Monica, which I did already and of course to the rest of the cast and the crew. I'm not going to go again no. through the list. Uh, and I think I should thank a lot to, because I'm the base the director of photography, to all the directors that I worked with and from which I got something. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Stop, stop. Grazie a Uberto Pasolini e la giuria opera prima e grazie anche a Caterina De Angelis. Grazie mille. Momento delle foto. Andiamo avanti. Ok, ok. Invito adesso sul palco la presidente della giuria Orizzonti, Yasmila Sbanic. E i giurati, Mona Fastball. Jacram Mokri, Josh Siegel e Nadia Terranova. La giuria Orizzonti ha avuto un compito molto importante perché ha assegnato ben sette premi alle opere in concorso nella sezione dedicata alle nuove tendenze del cinema. Iniziamo da quello che va al miglior cortometraggio. Presidente Sbanic, a chi avete assegnato il premio Orizzonti Award for Best Short Film? Los Huesos by Cristobal Leon Joaquin Coquinoa. <laughs> Il premio Josh Siegel. Hello everyone. Um, my name is Lucas Engel. Uh, I'm the producer of Los Huesos. I'm here on behalf of Cristobal and Joaquin, that the directors of this short film that weren't able to make it here. Um, first of all, I want to thank La Biennale, Mr. Alberto Barbera, Angela Sivoldi, Savoldi and their team, the Horizonte jury, and of, co of course, all our fellow colleagues in the Horizonte Corti section. So many incredible short films from all over the world. It's a blessing and an honor to share a space with such groundbreaking films. Los Huesos had its origin in October 2019 when Chile experienced a major social uprising leading to millions of people protesting on the streets demanding a country with less inequality, a country that's willing to put dignity as its main priority. Now, almost two years later, we're living a historical moment. A new constitution is being written by the people for the first time, replacing the one created during the dictatorship. A democratic representative Paritary and plurinational constitution is being born. There's a real chance of a better future for all Chileans. Also, on a day like today, September 11th in 1973, the military took over the government, hence beginning a cruel, violent, and repressive dictatorship that took the lives of thousands of innocent people. So, this award is dedicated to all the ones that are no longer with us, to the constitutional process that's happening right now, and to this better country that we're building together. Para Chile.
La scrittura è sempre al centro dei film, specialmente in quelli che inaugurano nuove modalità espressive. Presidente, a chi avete assegnato il premio per la miglior sceneggiatura, Orizzonti Award for Best Screenplay? It goes to Peter Kerekesh and Ivan Ostrohovsky for the film Censorka, 107 Mothers. Consegna il premio Nadia Ferranova. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks a lot to the festival that we had a chance to show the film here. It's really for us a great honor. We are very happy that we had such a nice uh, and important audience to see the film here. Uh, the film uh, is about mothers and their complicated lives in complicated situations, and we would like to dedicate this prize to the mothers. Uh, Personally, I would like to dedicate this prize to my mother and to my wife, who is also an excellent mother, and of course to the mothers in prison number 74 in Odessa. Thank you very much. Ivan Igesh. Stasera assegniamo cinque premi a cinque singoli interpreti. Iniziamo con quello per la migliore interpretazione maschile nella sezione Orizzonti. Orizzonti Award for Best Actor. Presidente? It goes to Bissette Chun in the film Bodening Sar, White Building, by Kavic Neang. Consegna il premio Mona Fastball. First, um, I, I would like to say thank you to the festival, to Alberto, Angela, uh, to the juries, um, to my team, and especially Lynn. And uh, I wish uh, my actor would be here tonight to celebrate this award. And um, I have a letter from him, so I would like to read this. Um, I could not believe it when I first heard this new for my director. When I, I never dreamed big like this, but all the amazing people on this team put trust, love, and faith in me to, del to deliver my best. I could not be here without the training of assistant director Srelin Mir and the story of the director Kavich Nier. To the team, why beating, to the why beating team, you all are amazing. Thank you to Venice Film Festival, all this great opportunity. And finally, thank you so much to jury for this honor i wish I, could be here. I wish I could be there to enjoy this festival with all of you too. Um, this award means a lot to us and means a lot to Cambodian cinema. Um, I would like to say thank you. <laughs> and Akun Tom Tom, thank you. per la migliore interpretazione femminile Orizzonti Award for Best Actress Presidente Orizzonti Award for Best Actress goes to Lori Calamy in the film A Plantain Full Time by Eric Gavel Consegna il premio Chakram Mokri Vabbè, eccola <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, thank you very much. 
Okay, my English is so awful, so <laughs> in French, please. <laughs> Euh, Eric, merci ce prix je le partage avec toi merci de m'avoir confié ce rôle incroyable pardon euh, euh, voilà c'était passionnant de travailler avec toi euh, on a partagé ensemble ce perfectionnisme obsessionnel avec toi, euh, je ne me sentais pas anormale. Je dois même dire que dans ce domaine, tu m'as supplantée. Euh, ça m'a un peu vexée. Euh, voilà, et voilà, j'ai pensé à ces quelques mots euh, dans un hôtel de luxe euh, à Venise. Et je voyais ces femmes de chambre, ces invisibles que tu nous rends visibles. Et j'étais fière de les raconter à travers ce personnage de Julie euh, qui est dans cette course effrénée entre les enfants, le travail et de cet ordinaire, tu fais de l'extraordinaire et ça devient un thriller haletant voilà c'est du génie <rires> et merci à cette équipe de feu qui nous a suivis merci au jury Horizonti, merci à la Mostra, adolescente dans mes premières amours de cinéma, il y avait beaucoup d'Italiens, Pasolini, Fellini, Scola, et oui, je vous ai tant aimé, et je suis tellement touchée de voir que c'est réciproque, et je pense qu'on va continuer de s'aimer avec le cinéma, merci <rires> Energia. <ride> Stupenda. La giuria Orizzonti ha anche assegnato un premio speciale, Special Orizzonti Jury Prize. Presidente, a chi lo avete assegnato? It goes to El Grand Movimento by Kiro Russo. Consegna il premio Mona Fastball. Gracias, gracias, gracias. <laughs> I'm so happy, I'm so happy. I Really, really, this is a very, very important award for Bolivia. It's so, so long time ago that we have been here. I want to, first of all, thanks to, the, to Alberto, to Angela, to all the Viennale. And uh, I want to thank and, and dedicate especially this award to the workers, to the workers that are sustaining La Paz, my city, that they are the main characters and main people that help us to do this movie. And I want also to thank you so much to all the people that have been involved, to my team, to my brothers, to my sisters. Cinema is about friendship. Cinema is about being together. And this was really an amazing journey. Thank you so much to my brother, Pablo Paniagua, uh, <coughs> Juan Pablo Pinheiro, my, my beloved Lorena, my parents, all the team, everybody that have been involved, Alexa Rivero. Thank you to all of you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Gracias. E adesso passiamo alla regia. Presidente, a chi va il premio per la miglior regia Orizzonti Award for Best Director? Award for Best Director goes to Eric Gravel for the film A Plenty on Full Time. <laughs> Consegna il premio Josh Siegel. Well, thank you very much. I'm not that crazy. Uh, uh, 
I would like to thank the festival, uh, Alberto, uh, Angela, uh, the, 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 all, all the team of the Mostra. Uh, it was an amazing honor to be here. Um, I want to thank the jury to, uh, to put the spotlight on the, the, the life of uh, uh, single mothers and the difficulty that they have to be represented. And uh, I, I, I tried to find a way to um, have their story told in, in a different ways that it can be uh, told to, to, to a lot of people, so I think it, it, it can help, and uh, uh, that pleased me a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I want, uh, would like to, to uh, thank my family, Maria, Mia, and Siena. I love you girls. I would like to thanks, thank my um, producer that uh, love from the bottom of their heart this project from the beginning. Uh, it's very important. This kind of producer are rare, are important. Uh, I would like to thank uh, the distributor, uh, Before Fin, uh, Oecourt, and I Wonder that will um, show the film in Italy. Um, I would like to thank a lot my crew in a very strange year uh, where we try to find a way of filming something that didn't exist last year, traffic jam and stuff like that when everybody was inside, so we try to to, to fight for that, to have this kind of movie, to try to continue making movie anyways. Uh, and they were uh, big fighters. I, I felt they were behind me and I was very pleased. And uh, finally, of course, I wanted to thank uh, an amazing actress who, who, who has was, was a small girl with very large, large shoulder who can take a lot on her shoulder and she, she was amazing, she was great. I love working with her and I think it makes the difference when you have somebody that you, you, can, you, can, you can rely on. Uh, she's beautiful in every sense and uh, I, I cannot say how much love I love you and I, 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 I enjoy working with you and uh, we were crazy together and uh, I loved it. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> e infine l'ultimo premio della sezione Orizzonti. Presidente Qual è il miglior film della sezione Orizzonti, Orizzonti Award for Best Film? To create little suspense, I want mm -hmm. to say thank you to Venice Film Festival for wonderful time this jury had. It was amazing. And now, Orizzonti Award for Best Film goes to Pilgrimai, Pilgrims by Laurinas Berisha. E consegna il premio alla Presidente, Yasmi Lasbani. Presidente. Oh. <laughs> First of all, I would like to thank the selection committee because it was a great award, great uh, pl uh, Honored just to be selected, uh, I, and also the jury for giving me this award, and uh, the festival, uh, Alberto, Angela, all the staff, and the, uh, also then I want to thank all that worked on the film, the cast, the crew, the actors, Gavia, Gedro, the producer, Clementina, and the Infinium Film Center, Riza Nate, Anna, Denise, Lucius, and, uh, of course, my parents, my sister, and my wife, Camilla. Hachita. Take your time. Okay. E grazie anche a tutti i giurati e al Presidente della sezione Orizzonti. Grazie mille. Prego. E ci siamo. È arrivato il grande momento. Io invito sul palco il Presidente della giuria internazionale di Venezia 78, Pong John Ho. 
e insieme a lei tutta la sua giuria Alexandre Nanau, Sara Gadon, Cynthia Erivo, Virginie Fira, Chloe Zhao e Saverio Costanzo. Oh, ma che emozione! Allora, il prossimo premio è dedicato a Marcello Mastroianni e viene assegnato a un giovane attore o a una giovane attrice emergente. Presidente, a chi avete assegnato il premio Marcello Mastroianni, Marcello Mastroianni Award for Best Young Actor? Sì, yes, uh, Marcello Mastroianni Award for Best Young Actor to Filippo Scotti in the film È stata la mano di Dio, The Hand of God. Consegna il premio Cynthia Irivo. <laughs> Che dire, io sono, sono onorato, sono, sono emozionato un po' come quando Paolo mi ha, insomma, mi ha preso per fare, per fare il film, perché eh, insomma, soprattutto dopo questo periodo eh, che ancora insomma, stiamo vivendo un po' di, di pandemia, eh, però eh, è bellissimo, è, è pesante anche questo comunque, giusto per, <ride> stavo forse più si sviluppa in altezza però comunque <ride> e sono felicissimo ringrazio tanto Paolo tantissimo per la fiducia e ringrazio tutto il cast eh, Tony eh, Teresa Luisa eh, Marlon Viaggio Sofi eh, davvero ringrazio tutti e insomma tut tutta la troupe e ringrazio tanto la mia famiglia i miei genitori mia sorella, e... ed è bellissimo, grazie, è meraviglioso, grazie, grazie, <ride> grazie. Filippo, le foto, resta, resta, non andare. Scopriamo ora a quale opera la giuria ha deciso di assegnare un riconoscimento speciale. Presidente, a chi assegnate il premio speciale della giuria Venezia 78 Special Jury Prize? Yes. Uh, special Jury Prize to Il Buco by Michelangelo Framartino. Eccoci, allora grazie al direttore che ci ha invitati in concorso, grazie alla giuria per questo premio così gradito, grazie ai miei compagni di viaggio, Marco, Raha, Giovanna che ha fatto questo film a quattro mani con me e anche a un grande speleologo calabrese, Antonio Larocca, sono altre due mani che si sono aggiunte nel realizzare questo film. Non posso non ringraziare chi ha creduto a questo salto nel buio produttivo, a partire da Rai Cinema, dimenticherò qualcuno e non ci produrranno la prossima volta, ma <ride> Rai Cinema, Eurimage, Arte, eh, la Calabria Film Commission, il Medienborg, insomma tutti quelli che ci hanno appoggiato. Ringrazio la speleologia italiana, tutti i speleologi che si prendono cura del buio e di tutto ciò che non ha ancora forma. Ringrazio la Calabria, San Lorenzo Bellizzi, tutti gli amici. Ringrazio Cerchiara, 
ringrazio Rotonda, Terranova del Pollino, da dove viene il meraviglioso pastore del film, Nicola Lanza, e ringrazio anche Caulogna, che è sempre nel mio cuore, e di nuovo la Calabria, che è la regione più bella d'Italia. Grazie. <ride> insieme, sì. <ride> Complimenti. Bravo. E torniamo a parlare ancora di scrittura, perché è il momento del premio per la miglior sceneggiatura. Award for Best Screenplay. Presidente, chi è il vincitore? Yes, Award for Best Screenplay to Maggie Gyllenhaal for the film The Lost Daughter. Congratulations. Consegna il premio Cynthia Erivo. Thank you so much. I, I, I can't tell you how thrilled I am to be here. I was married in Italy, in Puglia. I, I found out I was pregnant with my second daughter in Italy. And really my life as a director and a writer and my film was born here in this theater. When, um, when I read Elena Ferrante for the first time, there was a kind of shock from hearing things that I had always known deep inside myself were true, spoken out loud. Some secret truths about being a woman in the world. Of course, they're not really secret, they're just unspoken. In a way, as women, we've been born into an agreement to be silent, and Ferrante broke the agreement. And sitting alone in my room with her book, I felt the power of something old shattering. And it was both terrifying and exciting. And actually, um, is Jane Campion here? I mean, I mean she is, but uh, wherever she is, I had the same feeling um, seeing the piano uh, when I was in high school. <laughs> which I think is... Um, which I think is part of the reason why I thought, well, what about having these secret truths not just sort of um, alone by myself in my room reading this book, but what happens if you put them on screen in a room with a whole lot of people and you can hear these truths spoken out loud sitting next to your husband or your mother or your daughter or even a stranger weeping and I wanted to try to create a shared experience, which is film. So we made this film in a pandemic, of course, like everybody else here, and we were alone in our little world, especially in post-production. I was alone in a room with my editor and then with my sound designer, and I mean, I did show the film to some people to get notes from them, but they were people who already loved me. And um, it really wasn't until I was here that I had that experience that I fantasized about, seeing the movie with an audience. And even though the movie is in English and shot in Greece, it is Italian in its bones, sprung first out of the mind of a great Italian woman. And it was here in Italy, where I was married, where my babies were made, that my dream of creating this shared experience was finally born. And it was met with love and understanding. And not many of us can even say we were met that way when we were born. <laughs> um, I'm still pulsating with the
the love that this audience here gave me that first night only a week ago. And after that, we had to throw our gowns in a suitcase and go to another festival. And I wanted a little more Italy. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> So just, just one more thing, please. Thank you so much to this incredible jury. Um, thank you to the festival, to Alberto and to Julia, our champion, and to Endeavor and to Netflix, who have supported us both logistically but artistically and with love, and my actors, who everyone who's seen the movie knows are amazing, especially my husband, um, my producers, who are just incredible, my incredible DP and my editor. Thank you all so much. Thank you, grazie. E ora è il momento degli attori. <coughs> Coppa Volpi per la migliore interpretazione maschile. Coppa Volpi for best actor. Presidente. Coppa Volpi for best actor. John Arcilla in the film On the Job, The Missing Eight by Eric Marty. Consegna il premio Sara Gadon. Al vincitore va inoltre un orologio Cartier, edizione speciale per la 78esima mostra Eric internazionale d'arte cinematografica. E ritira il premio Eric Matti. Il vincitore, John Arsilia, non è potuto essere qui con noi, ritira il regista Eric Matti e il, il vincitore ci ha mandato questo filmato. Guardiamolo insieme. Buona serata. Um, uh, Venice International Film Festival, buona serata, mille grazie, mille grazie. Um, well, if uh, there's something that I really regret tonight, it's because that I will not be able to kiss my own um, uh, bowl pee cup uh, there in, in the middle of Venice and uh, on that red carpet, just like the other 77 great actors whom I admire, who have already kissed their own, this uh, most wonderful uh, uh, and a uh, prestigious award that one uh, actor can have. So uh, I'm also the happiest uh, actor tonight, of course, also because uh, uh, I know that we came from different uh, countries uh, and uh, uh, we have different languages and uh, cultures and yet I can feel oneness tonight and I can feel that uh, you understand me and we understand each other. It's just because of the arts of cinema. So uh, thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> we, we share this award with the uh, ensemble casting that we have. Uh, aside from John, who did a really good job, everything in the cast was really good. Thank you. Grazie, Eric Matti. <laughs> Eric. <laughs> <laughs> grazie, grazie mille. E ora è arrivato il momento della Coppa Volpi per la migliore interpretazione femminile. Coppa Volpi for Best Actress. Presidente. Yeah. Coppa Volpi for Best Actress. Yeah. <laughs> Penelope Cruz in the film Madre Parallelas. Congratulations. Consegna il premio Saverio Costanzo. E alla vincitrice va inoltre un orologio Cartier edizione speciale per la 78esima mostra internazionale d'arte cinematografica. Chi le regge la Coppa? Ecco. Saverio, grazie. Buonasera. Um, 
Devo leggere un pochino perché sono molto nervosa. Grazie alla giuria per questo premio che mi fa molto molto felice. Thank you very much. È veramente un onore. Grazie Alberto, Barbera e Angela. Tutti sappiamo quanto è difficile organizzare un festival in questo periodo. E grazie alla vostra tenacia e all'incredibile incredibile direzione organizzativa, eccoci qui. Celebrando il cinema, a celebrare il cinema. Thank you, Pedro. This is 100% yours. Thank you once again for your trust in me, for inspiring me every day with your search for truth inside and outside the set. Your impeccable work ethic, ethic your artisan timing, your heart, so hard to find in these crazy days, your dedication to details. You have created magic again, and I could not be more proud and grateful to be a part of it. I adore you. I share this with the wonderful cast in the film, Milena, Israel, Aitana, Rosie, Julieta, and all the crew of our film. I would like to dedicate it to my great husband who's here with me and my wonderful children, Luna and Leo, my family, but especially to, to two other parallel mothers in my life. My mother, Encarna, the best values, the best teacher, and my best friend. I love you, Mama. And my mother-in-law, Pilar Bardem, who left us two months ago. She did so much for actresses and actors in our country, and her love and passion for this wonderful profession was huge. At the end of our last conversation, she told me, I love you. She was very fragile then. I thought those were her last words to me. But then I heard something else, very quiet, very soft, and with a smile on her face, she said two more words to me. She said, Copa Volpi. <laughs> <laughs> and how did she know? Esto va por ellas dos y por todas las madres. Muchísimas gracias. Thank you so much. Sarà anche quella, no? <ride> Grazie. <ride> Complimenti. Thank you, Cynthia. E siamo arrivati al momento di assegnare gli ultimi tre premi di questa 78esima mostra. Iniziamo dal Leone d'Argento, miglior regia. Silver Lion Award for Best Director. Yeah. Silver Lion Award for Best Director to Jane Campion for the film The Power of the Dog. Consegna il premio Alexandre Nanau. to get an award from you people. You've made the bar very, very high for me in cinema, Boone, Chloe, extraordinary filmmakers, Saveria. And I, I thank you. Trying to reach up there. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, you don't make a film without having to say many thank yous to many people. And uh, first and foremost to my partner Tony for making me happy and joyful. And to my collaborator um, and beautiful friend Tanya, my producer, who is um, wise and hilarious. 
and my other producers, Emil, Ian, um, Roger, and uh, John, Phil, Libby. I <laughs> um, also want to thank my friends at Netflix. I'm very grateful, Lisa, Sean, and um, Scott Stuber. The support you give me has just been amazing and a very difficult time to make a film. And um, my sweethearts and collaborators, Ari Wegner, cinematographer, Grant Major, my designer, Kirsty Cameron, costumes, and Peter Scabaris, editor. You're all amazing. I also want to just do a yell out to the people of New Zealand because um, you kept us safe during the, um, during the COVID so that we could finish. Thank you. And also particularly, I want to say um, I love my actors. They're amazing. I want to thank Kirsten Dance, Cody Smith-McPhee, Jesse Plemons, and um, last but not least, um, Benedict Cumberbatch, who really did go around the world and back again to find this character, to strip himself bare, and um, play Phil Burbank, whose um, suppression made him cruel and um, f fragile also with yearning. I, th I thank Venice Festival. It's amazing that you managed to make this happen for us. It's so special for us filmmakers to be here live with audiences and experience what we dream about. Thank you so, so much. Il momento del leone d'argento, gran premio della giuria, Silver Lion Grand Jury Prize. Yeah, Presidente. Grand Jury Prize to uh, congratulazioni. <laughs> <laughs> È stata la mano di Dio by Paolo Sorrentino. Dovete avere un po' di pazienza perché sono leggermente emozionato. Vabbè, anch'io devo ringraziare un po' di persone, devo ringraziare Scott Stuber, Lisa Tabak, David Cosse, Teresa Moneo e, e molto tutta la grande squadra di Netflix, sono veramente meravigliosi e inspiegabilmente mi vogliono bene. Poi volevo ringraziare i miei amici e produttori Lorenzo Mieli e Andrea Scrosati e la troupe che è stata veramente eccezionale, insomma mi ha aiutato moltissimo in un film non facile, così come Filippo, gli attori e eh, tutti i personaggi del film, eh, i miei genitori, Maradona, i miei fratelli. E, mh, poi volevo ringraziare mia moglie Daniela che sono vent'anni che è passa, che mi sopporta, che mi vuole bene, e, e i miei figli Anna e Carlo. E poi ogni tanto qualcuno, un po' antipatico, dice ma tu perché fai un altro film con Tony Servillo? E io <ride> ora posso dirgli, eh, faccio, eh, guardate dove sono arrivato facendo i film con Tony Servillo. <ride> Poi devo ringraziare Roberto, Richard, Federica, Martina, devo ringraziare quelli che mi hanno accolto da ragazzo, che sono Antonio Capuano e Umberto Contarello, 
ma soprattutto il mio primo produttore, il mio più caro amico Nicola Giuliano. Poi... Poi niente, volevo parlare di due scene nel film che non ci sono. Uno è un sogno che non ho fatto e c'è un ometto di 1,60 su un campo di calcio che vi ringrazia, che si chiama Maradona. E eh, che ci crediate o no, questo è il più grande premio che voi possiate ottenere, che Maradona vi ringrazia. E poi volevo parlare di un'altra scena che non c'era nel film e che che il, il giorno del funerale dei miei genitori, eh, sembra triste ma invece addirittura allegra, eh, il preside della mia scuola mandò solo una rappresentanza di quattro compagni di classe e non tutta la classe e io ci rimasi malissimo, però questo non ha più importanza perché oggi è venuta tutta la classe che siete voi, grazie. grazie mille. Grazie alla giuria, thank you. E siamo arrivati al gran finale. E allora è il momento di invitare qui con me sul palco il presidente della Biennale, Roberto Ciccutto. Buonasera. Buonasera. Presidente Bong Chon Ho, qual è il vincitore del Leone d'Oro come miglior film alla 78esima mostra internazionale d'arte cinematografica della Biennale di Venezia, Golden Lion for Best Film? We jury members really love this film, right? And it was an unanimous decision. Golden Lion for Best Film too. Le Band Mong, happening by Audrey D1. Alla vincitrice va inoltre un orologio Cartier, edizione speciale per la 78esima mostra internazionale d'arte cinematografica. I have prepared my, my speech in French, <laughs> so I'm going to try to translate it, but you will have to be gentle because the emotion is so huge that it's going to be hard, right? <laughs> I'm very moved, very, very moved, and I'm also because when we started working with, with Annie Arnaud, with the writer of the book, we were talking about the silence around the theme of abortion. And unfortunately, you saw what it is nowadays. Unfortunately, you saw what happened throughout the next months and days in the world. Unfortunately, whenever you talk, you talk about abortion, you make a movie about it, you write about it, 
you're going to be in actuality. Um, I did this movie with anger. I did the movie with desire also. I did it with my belly, my guts, my heart and my head. And um, I wanted happening to be an experience. I wanted to try to make the journey uh, in the skin of this young woman to see if we might do this journey. Um, on the set, I was always thinking, let's not look at Anne, but let's be Anne. And tonight, thanks to you, I know that uh, the journey can be made, whereas you're a woman or a man. There are plenty of women and men in this room, and we are making the journey together. So thank you so much for that. Of course, I want to thank Alberto Barbera, Angela, you, everybody that made it happen, of course, the jury. This would not happen without you, and I'm deeply moved, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. I feel hard. I feel hard tonight. I want, of course, to thank everybody that helped me do this movie. I want to thank my producers, they are fighters. It has been hard to do the movie, but Edouard Veil, Alice Girard, thank you. I need to thank also Vincent Maraval and the whole crew of Wild Bunch, France and International. I want to thank you, of course, your pictures, our Italian distributor. Thank you so much to be with us. Um, in France, le CNC, la région Ile de France, France 3, Canal Plus, Grégory Veil, my agent, Hassan Girard, the PR also. I, of course, think about the crew of the movie and I hope they are watching this tonight because we fought together and we were so happy and involved. So thanks to all the actors and actresses, thanks to all the people who worked on the movie trying to be with us and to do it the way we did it, in a radical way and never let go anything. So I also want to thank my parents, Thea and Peter, my children. I want to thank all my friends, Fatou is here tonight, all my friends that support me throughout the years, and of course, my lovely husband, Thibaut Guest. But, but, most of all, I need to thank Anna Maria Bartolome. <laughs> Anna Maria is not the actress, she is the movie. You are the movie, and this is our victory. Can you come, please, can you come? Presidente Cicuzzo, Presidente Cicuzzo. Momenti. 
che ogni volta insomma, ci procurano come se fosse la prima volta. Grazie a tutti di essere qui. Il prossimo anno saranno 90 anni che la mostra internazionale d'arte cinematografica della Biennale di Venezia è stata creata, ma sarà solo il numero 79 perché la storia ha impedito che alcune edizioni si potessero realizzare. Lo ha raccontato molto bene una mostra che abbiamo realizzato l'anno scorso che si chiama Le Muse Inquiete, la Biennale di fronte alla storia. Ma abbiamo rischiato che la prossima mostra, nel 22, fosse ancora il numero 77. Se non avessimo potuto realizzare, malgrado la pandemia, la mostra dell'anno scorso e quella di quest'anno. Quindi ringrazio... È per questo che ringrazio tutti, il team della Biennale, il Ministro della Cultura, il Comune di Venezia, la Regione del Veneto, il pubblico, gli artisti e i professionisti, gli sponsor che hanno fatto sì che tutto ciò accadesse e che è stato sapientemente raccontato dal nostro media partner RAI. Vi aspettiamo tutti dal 31 agosto al 10 settembre del prossimo anno a festeggiare con la 79esima mostra d'arte cinematografica della Biennale di Venezia ma fatemi fare anche il presidente di tutta la Biennale, il 17 settembre prossimo apriremo il Festival della Musica. Vi aspettiamo anche lì. E adesso, madrina, a te l'ultima parola. Che onore, presidente. Innanzitutto grazie anche alla giuria. Vuole stare con me? Lo dico? Lo diciamo? Prego. E quindi dichiariamo ufficialmente chiusa la 78esima edizione della Mostra Internazionale d'Arte Cinematografica della Biennale di Venezia. Grazie. Un sogno.